guys so uh here's the uh motorized two tandem here <laughs> just got our uh, finished up fuel filler's leaking a little bit uh i threw on some new tires got from walmart uh, had a desire to knock it out the last couple days so i uh started going to it i have no back brakes though right now this front brake kind of sucks it's all mangled but other than that it runs good um this chain was giving me huge headaches still not the best you can see it's rubbing a little bit here but uh it needs to be tight if it's loose it's just going to keep derailing no matter what you do you can see all the scra scrapes from it derailing i have to keep playing around to get it right um i just ended up drilling with the old brake disc it was like a a band set up like i was thinking um so i just drilled through to mount my sprocket um i'm going to get two uh new adjusters you can see it's not really angled correctly but it works same one on the bottom i want to get some ones with cogs spring loaded but uh you can see my chain is tight runs and rides good now um yeah just throw a standard uh, kit on there so So uh, that, that was that with the uh, tandem guys. Um, I got it done in probably about a solid day. Then I had a half a day screwing with the chain. That was by far the worst part. And I kind of got it rigged up. Um, not perfect, but uh, it's, it's working. I mean, I've had a full throttle. I've probably ridden at least five or 10 miles at this point. It seemed to work out. Um, yeah, you like my lighting? This is, uh, check it out. It's actually uh, one of those Harbor Freight uh, spotlights, the little ones I clamp on, and I taped a sheet of uh, printer paper on top to kind of spread the light out a little bit. But you know, not not a uh, expensive quality, but you know, not too too bad anyway. Um, it definitely spreads the light out a lot better than my other setup. So um, yeah, I'm probably going to put a couple of power adders on the uh, tandem too. I want to do like expansion chamber and stuff like that over time. Uh, just so it could pull the weight better. It's got plenty of power though. Like you can get up to full speed. I mean, it'll pull, pull two people doing. You know, I'm a big guy too. I'm not light, um, and it'll pull you. You know, doing 25 miles an hour, no problem. There's a big hill going out of the road from my house. Like if if you go out 
onto the main road, so I want to try it out up that hill. I mean, if it can make it out up that hill without pedaling, that thing's pretty good. So, but I haven't done that yet. Um, I want to try to dig out. I actually built this uh, this robot arm out of linear actuators a couple years ago. Kind of wanted to dig that out of the basement, but that was pretty cool. Um, I kind of built it like a mini Prentice. I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I made it out of two by fours. You know, a little gaudy, but. And uh, I had a sprocket for the base with a chain. So it would actually, I built basically, it, it was like a little self-loader arm on a log truck is my design. Um, basically, you know, you, I, I wonder if I could draw a little picture. I, I'll try to draw it for you guys. Hard to explain. Alright, so this is essentially uh, my crane that I built. Um... I built it basically all out of linear actuators uh, with a car battery as a source. And like I said, uh, the first time I used 2x4s, which uh, just aren't strong enough. I want to rebuild it out of steel. So you might see this as an upcoming project, but um, I just wanted to show you basically what it is. Um, I already built this one. It was completely functional. It's down in the basement. Um, the problem is we had a flood down there. So I don't know, uh, you know, what linear actuators are good or whatever, too. Um, but uh, basically, you have a car, ba car battery as a s the source. You have two linear actuators here. This is a motorcycle chain, motorcycle sprocket right here. And uh, I have two dual uh, linear actuators on the main, main portion, one here, just to close the uh, grapple. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it was just kind of cool because it was like it was full function. I mean, talk about a mess of wires, though. Um, basically, how this works is you get the, the power from the battery and goes to your three-way switch. And then, depending on if you get... You have two leads from these uh, linear actuators. If you supply the one side positive and one side negative, it'll move one way. And if you reverse that, it'll move the opposite way. Um, so it's pretty easy to run. But, I mean, I have wires everywhere. I use use thick speaker wire but um it was pretty wild like i said i could pick up around something you would split four ways like on the timber wolf or the super split and it would hold it full full extension i mean it would just pick it right up um you know something that's 18 inches like i said something green oak or something probably about 50 pounds but uh this is roughly you know it was almost on a full sheet of plywood three by eight um and I built it to so you could just pop these out and these pins and you could take it apart and take it apart because it was so damn heavy to pick up by yourself. But uh, it kind of just got destroyed. I built it like two years ago and uh, like I said, it flooded down there. And um, I know, I think my girlfriend was trying to move it or something. I kind of remember breaking this jib or something off the sprocket because I had it mounted, you know, not properly. You know how I am. So, but like I said, I kind of want to rebuild this maybe with some angle iron and rebuild the whole thing. Maybe make it stronger because I used uh, I think they're 220 pound linear actuators. I'd almost like to go get something that are like a thousand pound linear actuators and make like something that's actually that could pick up like a couple hundred pounds. I think that would be kind of wild. But yeah, like I said, this is just a you know a little blueprint of what I did. Um, you know, maybe with my wacky projects, but uh, you know, I was kind of proud of this because when it came out. I never did nothing like this before, and it, and it actually worked fine. It was kind of amazing to me. And I was always, uh, you know, obsessed with, like, hydraulics, which it's not hydraulics, but it basically made a little mini hydraulic loader, but with linear actuators. So, All right, guys, till next time. I just want to talk about that a little bit because um, I've been meaning to pull it out and just see how much damage is done. But at this point, instead of fixing it how it was, I might just rebuild it, make it better and stronger. So, all right. I'll keep you updated with uh, tandem uh, uh, project updates. So, all right, guys. Like I said, keep on subscribing if you can. Really appreciate it. Peace.